Okay, here we go, guys. Welcome to the Gold Spot. 136 million. Oh, look at this table, it's fantastic. And it's got this really cool hologram feature right here, which is just crazy. I'll turn it down a little, a little bit. I don't want to be too overbearingly loud. And the skill shot I've got to get up to around the back here, and I always miss it. I do it too hard like that. And one of the nice things, oh, I love how it smashed that hologram. One of the nice things is that you get this shoot again in the middle here, um, stays lit for quite a while when your first ball comes out. And you need that, guys, because the amount of times it drains um, early is ridiculous. We've got the Scaleri brothers that have come out, which are these two, a little bit like Midnight Madness with the trolls. I've got both of them. And whoa, that's where you got to watch out. And I love these magnet um, uh, bumpers there. Not bumpers, what are they called? Wow. Oy. The only thing is, though, is they can be a little bit random because they're magnetic and they are obviously on the real one as well. Um, you can, geez, that was late. You can, um, you can get like a really bad magnet situation where it just sort of flips the ball around and drains it. That's what I wanted. <laughs> ball one locked, and I got the jackpot. So this is a good, good start, guys. And I don't want to jinx myself, though. And we've got ball two locked, so we could even get a multi-ball situation. And we've got the uh, two times on the bonus, I think. Now the performance of this game is good. I do still get a little bit of bit of slowdown. Another super jackpot that was going to help me out for sure. And that's where we want to get the uh, the coin. And now we've got multi-ball guys. So, this is, this is a good start, actually, to this game. But uh, it can all go pear-shaped in a matter of seconds if I'm not careful. And because of the centre lane, it's really difficult to keep the multi-ball going. There goes one, there goes two. <laughs> oh, save one. I get the one back, get two back. And you can see the uh, I'm struggling a little bit in terms of uh, processing power here, guys. I've got a 1080 in here, which is fine, um, but my processing power is only about 2.4, I think. And I need to sort that out, guys, because now I really want to play this and play other virtual uh, pinball 10 games, and I need the processing power. I've got the graphics cap power. I don't have the CPU power. Um, and now that these tables are getting so good I'm um, I'm keen to, to bump up the CPU okay guys oh geez almost got it just lucked out on that was a real shame because that would have given me quite a bit of extra points Whew, got five mil on, mil on that bonus though what am I um, what am I up to I think that's the one I want to do Whoops, it's way too hard though. Okay, got extra ball is lit, which would be really handy. And guys, if I manage to pull this off on one game, and that would be unlikely, but if I do, then we'll only do the one game. Um, and we'll see how well I can and we got the Scaleri brothers again. Oh, geez, that was actually my error. We got uh, extra two mil there. We'll change the skill shot. I'm going to try and get the skill shot. Ah, too much. Right. We. I tell you what, that ramp shot's actually re really hard to, to get like that. <laughs> you can see how that didn't make it yet. I gave it heaps of curry. And um, that is the challenge of that shot. And I tell you what, there's also 
the source of so many drains on this table. You don't get that ramp going all the way up. It tends to come back down and then drain. Love how the uh, ghost comes across here. Lupin supers, shoot super jackpots for 20 seconds. Oh my God, I haven't actually had this mode before. Look at that cool hologram, that is so cool. Oh, flippers choose mode. Okay, don't cross the stream, ESP ability, I don't know. I've never done this before, guys. Use right flipper to change, use left flipper to select. What is it? Holy shit. Stop now, receive. Uh, shall I do this? What am I doing? What am I doing? Good guess. It's doubled. Holy shit. Uh, I just get the 500. I'll keep the 500. Can I get the 500? Try this one. What is that? What am I doing here, guys? Oh, do I. Oh, nice going, rookie. <laughs> right. Sorry, guys. I really did not know what I was doing there. And I needed to use the Magna Save buttons. I think. Oh, shoot. I think on the real table there's another button. I think is there in the middle? I can't remember. No, I can't remember if it was in the middle. Oh, look at that. 60 mil. <laughs> 60 mil. And that just goes to show, guys. Look how well I did on the first ball and then I <laughs> got a free credit. Um, and then it all went pear shaped. Man, that's disappointing. So, yeah, I should have used my Magna Save buttons to select to do the video mode thing. All right, well, anyway, I hadn't seen that before, so let's, let's go again. That's a real shame, guys. I thought I was, wow, <laughs> that's what I mean, straight down the guts. I thought it was going so well there. So I like how they do that save because I think this game would be really frustrating if you lost the ball and set within seconds, especially if you, you know, put, some, put your decent coin in three bucks or whatever to play and your, your ball gets lost within seconds that's not much fun so that's a nice feature okay we so Aaron did extremely well to get that 136 million that day and um, even though I mean you know I haven't played a huge amount of games but still um, it was a damn hard score to achieve by the looks of things and I saw on uh, YouTube someone got like 8 billion or something ridiculous <laughs> we're not gonna get that wow and I, I do find I mean the shots in this game are really cool because there's so many multiple shops up there that you've got to get the right angle to get the right um, get the right shot which sounds pretty obvious but um, it's just difficult eh? it's like wow those magnets <laughs> um, see like that it's actually quite difficult to make those shots and oh straight down the guts yeah, just getting the difference between each one of these is really, I don't know, I just can't seem to dial it in. There we go. Oh man, that's so close, but... Hey! <laughs> like that, it's just like, it just won't go up there easily. And I guess it's all in the, the timing. But you can be stuffing around like this and really not racking up much scores if you don't make those shots. Okay, who bought the dog? Seven mil and we've got a ball in storage. First ball locked. Second one up there. Um, make sure I get those lights. Um, hit the hologram I love how it smashes that hologram it's so cool and it just looks awesome <laughs> it really does and I think the, the limited edition does actually have like a little um, it has a little display there I think 
if I remember rightly. Oi. Um, oh, come on, where is the extra ball? And I don't know guys, I just, oh, shoot, straight down the gut. I just think this is a really, really nice table. It really is. It's, you know, I, I, I've been playing this over any other table this week and more so than any other visual pinball table when I first, uh, you know, start a new one. And, oh, whoops, I've got a save luckily. Um, and Tales of the Arabian Nights is my number one, but I must admit, I don't know guys, I reckon I need to give it time, but I'm thinking, could this take the top spot? <laughs> I don't know, but if it's, oh wow, God, that's brutal. But if it's, you know, if it comes down to which game am I playing the most, um, I don't know, this is new. Congratulations. Wow, that so is a great what did I get? Did I beat my score then? I don't need, I didn't even look at the score guys. What did I get? Just to put in the old dad. Hang on, oh so that was a terror one. Oh only 33 mil, but it was for the was for the terror. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so you can see guys, this is this is difficult. I mean, and this is a thing, it's definitely playing like the real machine, I reckon. Um, and these sort of scores. I didn't get as good a score like this out on the, at the uh, pinball comp. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> There's that um, little hologram again with a Ghostbusters sign. But yeah, I didn't get this out on, um, on the comp anywhere near these scores. But, you know, dedicating time on here, I think these are sort of legitimate scores now. You know, I think I could probably go to a real Ghostbusters machine and, and get, these sort of, get these sort of scores. All right, well, we're going to do one last game because I have done pretty well on those last two. Ready for some overtime? We don't want to keep this video going too long for you guys. Um, but we shall give it one more crack and straight down the guts. There we go. <laughs> and it's saved, luckily. And I must admit, this, this um, performance thing is really odd because right now I seem to be getting performance issues and normally this is pretty smooth. You never tell though guys, you know, bloody windows or something going on in the background. I can at least play it, um, but usually it's pretty smooth, only sometimes, I think with certain lighting effects, by the looks of things. I have got um, the, uh, oh jeez, what's it called, the Oculent Occlusion, is that what it's called? I've got that turned off. I think I've got the normal one on, but not uh, real-time updating. So Oculum Occlusion? I can't remember, guys. Um, but that was a setting that really, really killed it. But quite frankly, I've got a 1080 in here, guys. So graphically, I'm all sweet. It's just the processor, uh, I think, is letting it down. And who knows what this sort of special version of pin mame is, needs with the way that they've um, done it with the DLL. It might need a bit more horsepower, maybe. And the other thing is, when I first put this game on, guys, because you, you know I've got force feedback on here, I've got a gear motor, I've got a shaker motor in here. Oh, wow, I, that was my mistake. Um, and I tell you what, the gear motor, when the ghost moves, wow, that just, you can feel it in the cabinet, it makes such a difference. And the shaker motor, you know, it shakes you know, hit, when you hit the ghost and um, when the magnets, magnets go off here on the bumpers and um, it makes a big difference, eh, when you can feel it in the table. And the reason why I sort of noticed it so much was when I first in installed the table, the, um, the shaker motor was full strength and full strength is like a setting of something like 45 or 47 or something like that and normally I should have it on 8 because 47 it's like an earthquake in here guys <laughs> um, so I normally turn it right down and that's a setting that's done in the DOF uh, direct operating uh, direct operating framework operating is that right direct output framework I'm not saying operating um, direct output framework 
uh, settings on the web, you can configure your uh, your output for your different tour, your you know your different mechanics, uh, your force feedback stuff. And so I set my force feedback to eight, um, and it's a really nice rumble that I can feel. Oh wow, I can feel through the table, and it's so nice when it's you know at eight. At forty-seven, the thing is like a jackhammer. And I noticed that they, when they released the table and they released the, the DOF configuration, they'd missed one of the um, uh, the intensity levels. Um, and so I actually I found that out and then just put it in there manually to rate uh, to lower the intensity. If you guys have got this force feedback and you've got a, um, a shaker motor and you're having that problem, then um, check out the uh, the forums for uh, this table because in there I posted a post to show how you can fix that particular problem. But yeah, I, I really, I, I couldn't believe what a difference it made because I, initially I turned that um, force feedback off. Guys, I'm having one more game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love this. I love this so much while I'm talking here. Um, but I turned that force feedback off because it was so bad, but I wanted to play the table. And without that force feedback, I actually thought, wow, that's really missing it's really missing that tactile feedback that you get from hitting certain things. It made a huge difference. And I really didn't think force feedback made you know, that much difference. I thought it was just a nice thing to have. But funnily enough, guys, it actually adds so much to the experience. And so what I want to do now is I want to get contactors so that when it's hitting the bumpers like that, it's actually hitting contact like physical contactors and really knocking the table around and also get some solenoids on the flippers themselves and that way I can just really feel this whole table and I just think that's just going to add so much more to it. Um, now I lost my mojo there, most definitely, <laughs> I'm talking too much. So I'm going to focus now and play this sucker, but um, yeah guys I'm loving this, I am loving this. This to me is like, it's actually like having a real Ghostbusters. I mean, I know when you've got a real pinball machine and you play, oh wow, and you play virtual pinball, it's just not the same. But I'll tell you what, it's a damn good substitute and it leads to, you know, really learn the table and see if you like it. If you have the means, you can then go buy it. Those, those ones are a bit tricky too when they come flying out of there. On a lot of tables they sort of fly out and come to your closest flipper and here they always fly out to the opposite flipper and sometimes they're hard to catch and I haven't obviously played the real one enough to remember if it was the same sort of level of difficulty like Tupin's Spirit Guide. Who bought the dog? <laughs> I remember that in the movie when they got their, their first customer. <laughs> so called Navigate Turns. Okay, I'm in a in a mode. I've locked the ball. Always forget those top those top ones up there. Lighting them across. I need to do that because I get extra extra bonus. I'm not hitting the the things that are lit right now. Oh, I can actually change those too, guys. There's so much to this table. I need to need to learn, and I haven't worked out yet and that's the the cool thing about it hey, oh, wow I'm back I haven't even seen that mode before it's just so much fun and I love the sound I love the sound look at this 38 million again man so it's tough hey eh? it really is tough 
So it looks like I'm not going to get <laughs> 136 million. I love this at the end. Just haven't got tired of it. <laughs> so cool. All right, guys. Well, let's finish up. Well, there you go, guys. I'm disappointed because I really wanted to say we came, we saw, we kicked his ass. And I couldn't do that. Couldn't get to the 136 million. So full respect to you, Aaron MR. Um, but what that was, I, I don't know if it came through on camera, guys, but I was really, I was really enjoying those games. And I just, just love it. I love, and also I love the artwork on this, guys. The, the back glass artwork is just sublime. This would be a cool game to buy and have in your collection as a real pimple for sure. But um, for those of us who can't do that right now, at least this is the next best thing. Get it, guys. Check it out on VPX. Um, it's just sensational. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up and like if you liked it. See you for the next episode. And until then, look after yourself, play your games, all that good stuff. Um, I want to play one more game of this, but um, I'm... Um, I don't think I've got any coins left guys. So uh you got a 20? Chicken fight like a robot.